Ababi Akubai, welcome. And uh, you are a former mayor of Addis Ababa. You are now a minister and advisor to the prime minister in Addis Ababa. Food security. Um, Ethiopia has had, it's gone up and down. And now I think you are reasonably secure. What do you think the future is for not just Ethiopia, but the Horn of Africa? I'm thinking in terms of climate change. Yeah, I mean, the first thing uh, <coughs> is that uh, African countries should focus on agriculture. And one of the uh, problems in Africa has been many countries have neglected the agricultural sector and we use agricultural sector for economic takeoff. Uh, but it has becoming also increasingly challenging because of the climatic changes. Rain. And the neglect has been in terms of uh, policy, fertilizer essentially, it's policy? It's essentially policy. Many countries have not have a very uh, clear uh, long-term development policy and without that you cannot make a change. There is no shortcut. And climate has becoming, is becoming more challenging because rainfalls are becoming unpredictable. In this situation, it requires a transformation of agriculture that uh, shifting from rain fed to irrigated agriculture and also introducing technology for higher productivity and... Uh, Would you include uh, genetically modified? We don't exclude it. In our policy, we, it's, it's, it's part of the solution. Like in cotton, it could be a very good uh, solution. But we also have to take uh, precautions. We have to take uh, precautions and we should have a rigid uh, uh, regulatory system to make sure that uh, we don't introduce genetically modified uh, uh, products that will have a long-term negative effect. How helpful for you is, is an organization such as the World Policy Conference in exchanging ideas? It's, a, it's a, an important platform and, uh, and the benefit is that, first of all, it's uh, possible to discuss international economic uh, 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 governance systems, which are critical because least developing countries or even developing countries need an environment where the international economic order is conducive for, for, for them. Uh, the second one is it also gives a platform to, uh, to take experience uh, this morning a person was referring to Brazilian experience in agriculture. Uh, so it has become a very good source of experience and also uh, to voice out also our concerns and also our perspective on how the international environment should look. Thank you so much. Thanks.